Emily here. Today I'm going to show you how I work with painted elements to create digital elements. I work with jelly printing, mixed media, putting things together in the physical form and then scan them at a high resolution, use them to create digital elements. For instance, this is a piece that I just threw a bunch of paint on and some stamps and some pen marks, etc. And I scanned it at 600 dpi uh, using my scanner at work and emailed it to myself and then brought it into Photoshop where I created this template for creating ATC cards. These can be used for ATCs or you can use them as Project Life cards just by resizing them. These are two and a half by three and a half inch. I put layers together that have one card on each layer so that I can create each card back separately and then I'll merge them together and print them out if I'd like to use the physical form or use them digitally and just separate them by cropping them out. So what I did was basically took a new file at 8.5 by 11, created these 2.5 by 3.5 inch templates, and added a new layer with each template, as you can see in the Layers panel. So what I will do is start by selecting the first layer which is this upper left hand corner and then I'll choose one of my scanned uh, pieces of art which will take this purple one and what I do is I leave it at the resolution and the size that it is scanned in because I can get a lot more backgrounds out of it that way so I'll just drag it over onto that top layer and then you can see it is now over that layer and you can drag it around until the background looks like what you would like it to look like. So what I will do is I'll figure out what part of the artwork I'd like to see on my card by kind of pulling it around and once I have something that I'm happy with I can go to layer, create clipping mask and it will attach that piece of paper or that image to that particular card. And then if I want to use this again, I just move on to the next layer by clicking it and then dragging this file over again on top of that layer. And there you see it has put a different part of that document over that card. So we'll just do another layer, create clipping mask, and there you go. You've got two cards finished out of this same piece of artwork. But let's move on to another piece of art. Here's another one that I did. And this is basically just a clean up piece of paper on a cheap piece of children's paper pad that I got at the dollar store and I used it as my brayer clean off and then I just cleaned off a couple of credit cards that I was using to make lines on another piece and cleaning off little round uh, stencils or not stencil stamps and this is what became of that piece of paper which I just love how it turned out but anyway let's make an ATC out of it as well by clicking on our third layer and dragging this image over and picking a portion of it that we like the colors and composition of. I kind of like that. So we'll say layer, create clipping mask. And then, I like this one so much, I'm going to make another, moving on to the next. And that's kind of cute with that big dot there. Layer, create clipping mask. And then moving on to the next layer, let's go to another piece of artwork. This is a jelly print that I did on a big piece of kids paper 
just a bunch of random things. Then I used some uh, stencils and some pens and just kind of played around with it until it was what I wanted it to be. So let's pull that over onto this next layer. And let's see, I kind of like that layer, the clipping mask. And let's get another one of these because it's got such a varied amount of artwork on it. Let's, let's do, do this right here. I like these lines. Layer, the clipping mask. And then let's move on to another piece. Here's another clean off paper that I had laying around. Again, I scan it and I just bring it into Photoshop and have my way with it. I like the dots on that layer. Create clipping mask. And let's do it again. There's some pretty green in here that I'd like to get. Layer. Create clipping mask. And then for this last one, I have a couple of other pieces of art. Let's use this one right here and bring it over. Get some of those pretty colors in there. And there you have it. You have nine ATC backgrounds that you can either go ahead and embellish further digitally or you can simply put all of your layers together, save it as a PDF or a JPEG, print it out, cut them up, and use them as physical backgrounds. Paste them to some cardstock or print them on some cardstock. You can print this file on a full size 8.5 by 11 label sheet and then cut up the label sheet. I love printing on the label sheets uh, directly digitally and then making stickers out of them using a punch or just slicing them into individual um, pieces of tape basically. Um, here are a couple that I have embellished digitally, just sticking some, some um, word art and some graphics on it and some splatters. This was all done digitally, as was this. Added a photo and fonts and some scribbles and such. An ATC card, which I can use digitally or I can print it out and send it to a friend. So there you have it. That is my version of how to do digital ATCs or Project Life cards. It's very simple to do. Again, you would just take your layers and merge visible and save it either as a JPEG or a PDF file for printing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you like what you see and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Have a great day.